Good day! In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate faster than a calculator. There are altogether 10 easy mental multiplication tricks for you to learn and we are going to do the first 5 today and in the next video, we are going to do the next 5. So without further ado, let's do the question 1. One digit multiplication of 9. So if I say 8 times 9, what you do is that you are going to minus 1, so 8 becomes 7. So the first number is going to be 7, and the second number is going to add up to 9, so it becomes 72. Similarly, 6 times 9 reduced by 1 becomes 5. So 5 is the first number, and the second number, the two numbers must add up to 9, so it must be 54. Now to number 2. Multiplication of two digit multiplication of nine. This is slightly different. Previously, you reduce by one. Now you increase by one. So the first digit is three. You increase by one becomes four. So what you do now is that you take 38 minus four. That becomes 34. Okay, 38 minus four is 34. And the third digit is going to be a multiple of nine. So you have three, four. So you have to be 2, because 3 plus 4 plus 2 is 9, so 9 is a multiple of 9, so that's the answer, 342. So we do something slightly different. 76 times 9, so again you are going to in increase by 1, 7 becomes 8. Then you're going to minus then. 76 minus 8 is going to be 68. And the last digit has to be, the adding of this 3 digit must be a multiple of 9, so 6, 8 is going to be 4 because 6 plus 8 plus 4 is 18. 18 is the multiple of 9. So we shall continue and do question 3. Question 3 sounds like this, okay? So we're going to adjust the paper and now we are going to straight ahead going to it. Multiplication by 11. I'm sure you know this by now. To multiply by 11, the two digits remain the same, so 2 and 6 remain the same, and then you add 6 plus 2, and the middle number is going to be 8. Similarly, 78 times 11, 7 and 8 remain. This time, 7 plus 8 is 15, so you put 5, carry up 1. So the answer is going to be 858. So that is how you multiply by 11. Okay, so now we are doing question 4. Multiply by 5. When you multiply by 5, what happens is that you add 0 to the first number and you have the answer. So 47 times 5, the answer is going to be 470 because you put a 0 in there. And then you're going to divide by 2 or half the answer. And you have the answer. Divide by 2 or half, okay? It's going to be 235. Interesting, right? How about 68 times 5? The first thing you're going to be 680. You put a 0 and divide by 2. And the answer is going to be 340. Awesome. Last but not least, okay? We are going to do similar to what we do. Divide by, multiply by 5. Now we are going to multiply by 15, okay? So multiply 15, you're going to add 0 to the number. Same what you've done before. Have it. But this time, you need to add the two numbers together. So, we are given you three examples because this is very interesting, okay? So, what happens that 557 times 15 becomes 570. And then you have it. When you have it, it becomes 285. And don't forget, add the two numbers. You add them up. And the answer is going to be 515. Carry up one is 855. Awesome, right? So part, question part B, 83 times 15, so it becomes 830. And then you're going to have it, it's going to be 415. And then you're going to add them up. So 0 plus 5 is 5, 3 plus 1 is 4, 8 plus 4 is 12. So the answer is 1245. Last but not least, we have 345 times 15. So we're going to be 300 and 3, 4, 5, 0. Oh, that is, you put a 0. Half it is going to be 1, 7, 2, 5. Add the two numbers. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. 4 plus 7 is 11. Carry up 1. And the answer is 5,175. So we have done the first 5 of the multiplication tricks. 
and we will do the next five in the next video. Comment if you enjoy this video. Cheers everyone and have a good day.